the wait is over for another family in Metro Detroit tonight. A Melvindale man who was locked up in Saudi Arabia last month after making angry comments during a pilgrimage to Mecca finally returned home. 7 Action News reporter Mike Duffy at Metro Airport this afternoon for the homecoming after a trying ordeal. Today is a day of celebration for Melvindale resident Mohammed Salem, who's back in the U.S. after nearly a month behind bars in Saudi Arabia. He says it's the power of the U.S. passport that got him here today. Of course he was nervous. Of course he was terrified. But he said it was this, this American is power. passport. This is power. This American passport rescued him. Salem, speaking with the help of attorney Majed Boogdi, said he's thankful for the help of his country, especially the U.S. ambassador. He was me in, in everything. The ambassador, the U.S. ambassador, st stood with him by his side from beginning to end. He said the ambassador made sure he wasn't abused and that he was given his medication. However, he explained to me it could have been a very different story. Oh, he said they, the, he, they treated him poorly the first day. They no, treated him like a criminal. Uh, but my, once they, my, they knew he was my, American, he the once they saw that the passport... Everything is changed. As Salem said, everything changed. But Salem's attorney, Abdullah Mugdi, knows it's been a roller coaster for his family. So this has been a gut-wrenching process. Uh, every day has been uh, more bleak than the last. It's been 30 days of him being in prison in a maximum security prison, and uh, the whole family was terrified. That prison was Daban Central Prison, noted for documented abuse. Now, that's all in the past. We're so grateful to hear the news that he's finally released, and now he's back on American soil. Mugni said they have so many people to thank. I can give you a laundry list of names. There's been Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, been very vital to this all. Uh, Senator Gary Peters and his team took played a role. Rob Bershinsky in the National Security Council, the director of it, uh, he did very well for us. I also asked what it means Brittany Griner was released on the same day Salem returned. I think it just goes to show that the U.S. government is taking all of these detainees serious. They're going out there and they're making moves and we can't give them enough credit for it. Uh, the innocent will always prevail. Uh, the righteous will always prevail, and today Mohammed Salem will prevail. At DTW, Mike Duffy, 7 Action News. So good to see that reunion there.